today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a really gothy, big, black, circly eye look. Um, so, for this tutorial, I've already started uh, by doing my cover up and my eyebrows, just to save time. But for this, you're going to need a light gray, a dark gray, um, a medium color, which uh, you can use the light gray for, but if you want a different medium color that more is into your skin tone, uh, then that works as well. If And you can always wait and see what we do with it later if you want to decide then. You're going to need whatever brushes you use, mascara, a blending brush, and an eyeliner pencil. Pencil is very important. Use a pencil. Okay. So I'm going to start with the light gray that we're going to use. This is Storm by Mary Kay. And I've had this forever, so I don't know. So what you want to do is take your brush and your light eyeshadow and start putting that on your eyelid because this is going to create a base for your black to go on. And this is also going to shape the main area. We're going to blend it out but I find that this helps me decide where I'm going to have the darkest section. And it helps me get them even. So just kind of do that. Let's see here. And I have a mirror down below, which is why I'm looking down there. And just decide what shape you want. So there we go. I have my basic shape for how I want my circle to look. And now I do it to the other side. And this helps make sure that they're fairly even. Which is important if you want this to look right. Don't worry about getting right up on your eyelash line. Because we're going to take care of that later. So just kind of, just do what you do until you like how it looks and you like the circles. And voila! So now I have two pretty symmetrical circles. And they don't have to be perfect because we are going to blend them, but it's always a nice place to start is with something that kind of matches. So now you can move on to your black or your dark gray or black. I usually use black. And I'm just using this black from this Manic Panic palette. So. So then you nice get lots of black on your brush because you want this to be super dark. And then you put it over where we put the gray. And see this helps really define your circle. Again, don't worry about your eyelash line because we'll take care of that later. So, now you see the difference? And this side is much darker. And then do that to the other side. And doing the gray beforehand has created kind of a how-to guide. It's like a fill-in-the-blank almost. Oh, I got, what did I get there? Oh, no. Ah, I got it. Yeah, my pinky nail fell off. I have to get a new one. It's horrible. But it like broke down to the quick, so I have to let it grow out. Okay. Now this makeup is super simple, but there's a couple more steps after this. So you have your basic outline. I'm sorry, I'm like, I don't know, I have allergies or something happening. So then you take your blending brush, and I'm just using this angled brush, which I blend everything with. And then you blend out your corners here. So that it's nice and smoky. See the difference? 
This is a very important difference. Okay? So then you go in on the other side and you blend that out. I like to just kind of push it out and then like just go over it a bunch of times till it does something remotely blendy looking. Okay. Oh, my little pinky nail. All right, now we have these big dramatic eye circles and I like to go back in with my black and kind of darken around my eye again, just on the main eyelid. Just so that it's super extra dark. So, if you want to, you can skip the next step where I outline this, but, and, and go right to your eyeliner. Um, I'll make a notation to where, what time that is. But next, I'm going to take this color. It's a gold color. It's called Lucky Penny, again by Mary Kay. And I like this because it adds a little bit more definition and depth to the look. So I'm taking this really thin little brush, just it's a little baby tiny brush, and getting just a tiny amount, okay not tiny amount, but I'm getting some on my little brush. And I'm going to outline where these circles end, okay? So. And it might take a couple times. Okay, can you see that? But this is going to add a little bit of definition. And I like the gold. This is pretty much the only way that I ever wear anything remotely gold. I'm much more of a silver girl, but hey. It looks cool with my hair color, so. Okay, so. Now we've got these big gold outlines, and we're just gonna blend those out a little bit here to sort of make it uh, less of a stark difference. You can kind of go and smooth it out with your finger, because brushes don't always do the trick. And you can wash your hands. Yeah, it, it'll come off. So. And boom! There you go, there's some more definition to our eyeballs. Okay, now here comes the super, super easy part. You're going to take your eyeliner stick, and I'm using a Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil by e.l.f. And you're going to go in and just line that over your eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Who cares? Just put it on there. It'll be fine. Don't be shy with the lines. These are going to be super thick. Okay? See, there you go. I don't know if you can see that difference, but... And then you can go on the other side and do that. Oh, I did it backwards this time. I usually start on the other... on this eye and then go to the other one. Mixing it up. Okay, so there you go. You got some dark circles going on. And then, so when you do this, you can either line your waterline with black or with the uh, white. I think they kind of have the same effect, but your eyes might look a little bit bigger with the white. I'm going to line them with black because I don't feel like getting out my white, and I'm actually not sure where it went. So, oh, I just knocked things over. So then just line your waterline. Boom. Ugh. Oh, 
twitchy eye. Okay. So there you go. You don't even have to worry about lining the top. Super simple. Look at that. Look how easy that is. That's like, this is the quickest makeup tutorial ever. It doesn't even matter. And now all you have to do is your mascara. And I'm using this giant volume plumping mascara by e.l.f. <laughs> and this will... You can always put on fake eyelashes too. Because, you know, that makes everything look way better. Because you get, like, mega eyelashes going. But... I prefer not to because I don't have that kind of patience. Oh my gosh. This makeup look is also great for when you're like dead tired and you look like you're dead tired. And then you can be like, no I did it on purpose. It's just makeup. And then people will be like, oh okay. And then they'll think that you have your life together. Which we all know, none of us have our lives together. But we all like to pretend that we do, because it's comforting. Who really knows what they're doing? No one. No one does. If anyone acts like they know what they're doing, they're a liar. Which is why it's okay to not know what you're doing. Everyone starts somewhere. Okay. That's makeup. I like to complete this, but this is optional. Um, I don't really wear this look with lipstick a lot because I feel like it's a little overpowering. This is much of a statement as it is, but I sometimes will wear it with this um, skin tone stuff. And I'm actually pretty sure that this is supposed to be like a cover-up stick, but I've had it for so long and it's kind of shimmery, so I, I put it on my lips. Um, so then I just go with that. And it just kind of enhances the mildly dead and sleep deprived look. <sighs> My hair. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Anyways, so yeah. There you go. Super rock and roll. Kind of Taylor Momsen y. If you don't know who Taylor Momsen is, look her up because she's in a band and the band's awesome. So let's get a little bit of a better look in the light. So there you go. Super simple, super easy, and pretty cute. So let me know if you have any requests. And to those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I just want you to know that I super appreciate it, and I'm happy to be making videos for you. And if you have any ideas, let me know, because I'm totally open to them, and all I can think of right now is makeup tutorials. So I hope everyone has an awesome day, and an awesome whatever you're doing, and I'll see you next time.